Hi everyone. In this series of videos we're looking at creating, assigning and designing menus in Avada. In this video we'll be looking at how to use the Avada menu options. Make sure to check out the other videos in this series linked below. Also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. The Avada menu options are specific options we have made available when editing WordPress menus. They offer a powerful set of options for styling and configuring the individual menu items. For our example, we're going to continue with the Electrician pre-built site. Here it is as it was at the end of the How to Use the Menu Element video. Let's use the Avada menu options to make some changes to this menu. To begin, let's head to the menu used in the Header Layout section. Let's start at the bottom and the Contact link. If I just open this menu item, we can see the Avada Menu Options button. I'll just open it to see what we can do. For this menu item, we want to use the second option here, the Menu Button option. This allows us to style a parent menu item as a button. We can choose from four sizes of buttons from small to extra large. Here I will choose Button Large. Let's save this and save the menu. And head back to the front end and refresh. As we can see, our contact link now displays as a button, taking its style from the button global defaults. OK, let's go back and look at some more menu options. Let's assume that the Sparky here has recently added some new services and wants to highlight that. Let's start with the services item. And again, I'll open the Avada menu options. The sixth option down is called menu highlight label. I will add a label in here, and under this I will configure the colours. I will set the background colour to colour 4, and the text to colour 1. I will leave the border option empty so it matches the style of the contact button. OK, let's save that. Now in the actual services, let's assume it's the emergency call that's the new service, so I will put a label on that as well. I'll open it, and add the same label, and give it the same colours as the other one the background colour to colour 4, and the text to colour 1. OK, let's save that, and the menu as well, and come back to the front end and refresh the page again. OK, there's our highlight label on the parent menu item, and if I open the submenu, we can see it on the emergency calls menu item as well. Alright, let's try something else. This time I will come back to the menu and select the home menu item. I'll open the Avada menu options, and here I will set an icon. I'll just search for the home icon and set that. If you want to use your own icon, you can upload an image to use as a thumbnail for the menu item. And below this is an option to only show the icon and not the menu item text. Just note, as the description mentions, this does not apply to the mobile menu. In this case, I will keep the text and add the icon beside it. I'll just save that one. Actually, I might go into all the menu items and set an icon for each one. OK, I'm back on the front end and now each item has an icon, all using the colour set in the menu element. We could also change the size and position of these icons through the menu element. OK, there are still a couple more features available through the Avada menu option, so let's return to our menu. This time we're going to imagine that the site isn't going to have a contact page, but rather a pop-up contact form. Now there are a couple of ways to do this, and both involve the Avada menu option, so I will show you both. To start, I need to add the item to the menu again as the current link goes to the contact page. I'll just remove the contact item and add a custom link instead. I'll just add a hashtag in the URL field and for the link text I will call it contact like before and I'll add it to the menu. And when I open the Avada menu options, I'll also set it to be a large button as before and add that icon again. OK, so now if I scroll down towards the bottom of the Avada menu options, we can see an option called Modal Window Anchor. A modal window is a type of pop-up. What we add here is the class name of the modal we want to open. So here I will add a class name, and in this case I will call it Contact-Form. And then we can save this menu item, and the menu itself. Now we have to create the modal. For a modal to open, it has to be on the same page as the link, so I'm going to add it to the header layout section so it's always there where the contact link is. So let's go to the header layout section, and under the menu element, I will add the modal element. OK, here's our modal pop-up. I will add the name of the modal here, which has to correspond to the class name we added before, so in this case it needs to be contact-form. 
I'll add a heading in here, change the size of the modal to be large, I'll make the background colour to be colour 2 from the global colour palette, and I'll set show footer to no. OK, in the contents of the modal I want a contact form. The easiest way to do this is to use the Avada Builder Element Generator. I'll click on that and select Avada Form as my element, and I'll choose Contact as the form I want to display, and I'll add 20 pixels margin all around. I'll just click Insert now, and the shortcode is entered into the modal element, and there's our form. You can add whatever you want into a modal, like a map or a form, whatever you need. I might just add a bit more text here, so I will make sure the cursor is at the start of the content, and go to the Element Generator again. This time I'll add a text block element, and add my text. I'll also just go to the Design tab and add some left and right margin. I'll just insert this, and after a second our modal updates with the text. OK, let's just save our header layout now, and once again come back and refresh the home page. And this time when I click on the Contact button, our modal appears. Very cool. The other way to do this, and it's a more recent method, is to use the Off Canvas Builder. In this way, a pop-up or sliding bar can be triggered from the menu. And this also uses the Avada menu options. So for this, I'll come back to our menu, and I will remove the Contact Us link again. Instead, I will open the Avada Special Menu items in the left panel, and select Off Canvas Toggle, and add that to the menu. I'll open it, and change the navigation label to Contact Us. And now I'll open the Avada menu options. At the top, we can now see there is an Off Canvas option. I've already made an Off Canvas with my form in it, and so I can just select that here. I'll also change the menu button back to Button Large, and add the icon again. OK, let's save that, and the menu, and come back to the front end to check this one. So now I'll just click on Contact, and here is our contact form. Again, you can have any content you want in this pop-up, and it can be a pop-up or a sliding bar instead. For more information on using the Off Canvas Builder, see the link below the video. OK, let's go back and look at the last few remaining options in the Avada menu options. I'll just open a top-level menu item, and the Avada menu options. The bottom option is called Flyout Menu Background Image. This comes into effect if you choose Flyout in the menu element. The image added here will then be shown full screen when hovering over the corresponding menu item. Take a look at the main menu of the gallery pre-built for a working example. And again, to learn more about flyout menus, please follow the link below the video. If I scroll back to the top, we can see the only option we haven't covered yet. The first option is called Mega Menu. This works with the Mega Menu Builder found from the Avada library. See the How to Use the Mega Menu Builder video linked below for a full rundown on how to easily make amazing mega menus. OK, that's it. That's the Avada menu options. So many useful options all crammed into the menu items themselves. Have a play and take your menus to the next level. OK, this concludes our video on how to use the Avada menu options. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.